Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to fix HP laptop number lock keeps turning off. If your HP laptop number lock is keeps turning off, here are some tips you can try to fix the issue. Fix one, disable fast startup. For that, click on the start menu. Then here you have to type control panel. Control panel and open your control panel. Open it. Then at the here you can see a power option click and open that also then at the left side you can see what choose what closing the lid does then you have to click on that then you have to click on change settings currently available then there you can see a startup option you have to uncheck it then close save the change and close it fix two is enable number lock on startup using registry CVIC. For that, you have to oh, click on Windows plus R button. There, you have to type REGEDIT -E and click on OK. Then, this page will open. Here, you have to look for HK user. You have to expand it. Then, there, you can see a default option expand it. Then, in a default option, you can see under under default, you can see a control panel expanded. Then you have to click on keyboard. Then at the right side, you can see initiate keyboard indicators. You have to double tap it. Then here you have to change the value. Change the value into 2 and click on OK and save it. After that, you have to restart your laptop. Fix 3. Check BIOS setting. Sometimes BIOS setting might override the number lock setting. Restart your laptop and enter the BIOS setup. Usually you have to press F10 to enter into the startup. Look for an option related to number lock and ensure it sets to on. Fix 4. Update keyboard drivers. Outdated or corrupted drivers can issue the form the issue. For that, Click on the start menu, open the device manager, there you can see a keyboard option, you have to expand it, then there you can see a two types of drivers, you have to update that, click on that, then properties, then click on change settings, then here you can see a driver tab, move to driver tab and click on update driver. Then here you have to click on search automatically for drivers and update it. So like this you have to do it for another driver also. I hope it will be useful for you. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.